Hello, welcome to our series on SAP S4 HANA Financial Accounting and Controlling Module. In this video, we are going to begin with the Accounts Payable Module. Specifically for today, we'll be looking at maintaining business partners. A business partner is a person, organization, or a group of organizations in which a company has business interest. So business partners in financial accounting can be either vendors or customers. But today we'll be looking at vendors. So to start off, we'll click on maintain business partner. So in our initial screen, we have our find, we have our business partner, and we have search by what. Now the find lists the type of business partner you want to uh, maintain. So for instance, the business partner is a person, it's an organization or a group of persons. In our scenario, we want to maintain an organization. So the business partners are first created in uh, the procurement module or the materials management module. In financial accounting, we maintain the um, details that we need or that are very specific um, for financial accounting. So um, we'll search for a business partner either by number or by name or by location or by external number. Specifically for today, we want to search by number. So we click search by number. So here we know the series. So for instance, you are searching for business partner ranging from the 2000. So when you click, or 20,000. So when you click 20,000 with star, we we'll search for all business partners that has um, 200000 in it. So after putting that, uh, you click on stats. So it displays all business partners that has 2000 in it. So today we want to maintain that of Talent Enterprise. So we click on, we click on Talent Enterprise. So it displays the Talent Enterprise. But to make changes to it, we click on switch between display and change. So now it is in the change mode. We can now make changes to it. So we click here, change in the business rule. So here we search for the supplier, FI supplier or financial accounting supplier. So after clicking on that, it now gives us the company code tab to be able to make changes to it or changes that relates to financial accounting. So we click on the company code tab. So in this tab, the account management tab, we have the reconciliation account. All business partners are um, linked to a reconciliation account. So it could be either um, payables, domestic, it could be either one-time accounts, depending on the settings that you set in your system. So with this example, we want to choose payable domestic or domestic payables. Then there are other changes that you'd want to maintain for the business partner. For instance, the payment transaction tab. Here we have the payment tabs, we have the credit memo term, we have the tolerance group. And we have the automatic payment transactions too. So here we have the payment methods, the house bank, the payment block. So all any other changes you want to make to the business partner could be made here. So for instance, we want to make um, set up our payment terms. So here we want to say that with this particular um, vendor, payment payable immediately due next. So we choose this. And we come to the withholding tax tab. So here is where we um, maintain withholding tax type that have been set up in the system. So afterwards, any other changes that you want to make, you make. 
then you click on save. So it says changes have been made, changes have been saved. Thank you for watching this video. We hope to see you in our next video.